This video is brought to you by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Andrew Taws. We'll be checking in with my partner, Captain Willie Dykes, in a few minutes. Well, we've done a lot of goose hunting recently on the show, but we're not gonna forget about snow geese. And speaking of snow, this field out here in northern Sussex County is covered with it, and the temperatures this morning, according to some readings, were hovering right around zero degrees Fahrenheit. But with the large population of snow geese here in the area, once they start flying, especially right at you, you soon forget about those freezing fingers and toes. This is no comfy sleigh ride through a snow-covered field, more like a freezing trek across the frozen Arctic tundra. Okay, it's not that cold, but it's cold enough for these trailers full of decoys. No, that's the first time, it's the first time I've ever had it happen. A negative two will do that to you. All the, the wives out there that wonder why we spend so much money on gear, this is why. So we're not freezing to death mornings like this. <laughs> this is plain big when there's snow on the ground. There are 14 hunters here this morning using truck headlights to get the decoys set up. Jerry Kucharski of Del Bay Guide Service was feeling good about this farm. We've had birds here for four days. You know, 15,000, 20,000 birds. Now we got snow, so I don't know if that's gonna change things or not, we'll find out. When it comes to snow geese, especially in those numbers, hunters like Ted Zerner flock to the shore. Traveled about three hours, got up 1.30 this morning to get here and... Before everyone can get suited up and situated, we've got some incoming geese. They normally don't fly that early. They were probably ran out of somewhere and just looking for somewhere to get. Everything's looking good. Um, it's always tough when there's snow on the ground, hunting white birds in the snow. But uh, we try to counteract everything with using the Canada decoys, and that usually draws them in fairly well. Now the Tyvek suits are on and everyone is ready, laying just inches off the frozen ground. There are a few more flyovers and then Steve makes a change, shifting our line to face east right into the sun. Everybody get laid back down. Quick as you can. And it's a good thing we do because here they come. In between waiting for the signal, you get to lay back and watch as the geese work and fly over the spread. There are so many flying above, it looks like we could be in a snow globe. And looking at the horizon, they don't seem to be letting up. Everyone can finally catch their breath once it's time to round up the geese. Oh, that was a lot of fun. That was awesome. Hey, it's all good. It's good fun. It's good to watch them work and everything. Well, the majority of the birds started coming off the refuge and everything too, so luckily we got just enough moved in time for the, the major flight. But the hunt is not over yet. Thousands of snow geese are still flying and heading right at us. It's hard to believe unless you do it. Never seen this many. See a lot of Canadians hunt a lot of resident birds where I'm from. 
and uh, but uh, they're nothing like this. They're just the the, uh, the numbers are just crazy. We've seen thousands and thousands. I could do it again tomorrow. <laughs> and why not come back with action this hot and sights this beautiful? It's no surprise that everyone seemed to forget just how cold it was. Get outdoors, Delmarva.